been a long, long, adventurous journey. As you guys can see here, she got hit. What's going on, y'all? Pearl Woods, Trail, Santiago. Call me whatever you want to call me. Um, but you can also call me a little dumb because I made a bit of a mistake. Now, welcome to my road trip to Niagara Falls. We're going to make this short and sweet, but uh, I decided to transfer all of the footage I got from the Niagara trip, which is over the 4th of July. It's the middle of August. Um, I decided to take all that minus road trip because I did have my dad driving uh, not alongside me but we met up there and back so I, I had him when we got to our destination and when we didn't so I, I just want you guys to be there and enjoy the experience again this was imp incredible it was so important to me I got a tattoo of it look Niagara trip with the amount of miles I so I just really hope you guys go and see it it's a huge passion of mine and I hope to be uh, doing as many trips for you guys as I possibly can this year while I have the free time, alright? Love you guys. Enjoy the video. I think the furthest I've done, well not the furthest, but the most I've done in a day was maybe five and a half, six hours. Because I went to Champaign and then I went to Springfield and there was a stop in between that. So I also have a hairnet, but uh, this is going to be me. Ready for the road. I'm excited. I feel like an old man. But I feel young too. Honestly, I got more energy than I thought I would. So we're gonna hope I can keep it through. I'm gonna try to tie my water bag to the back of my uh, driver's rest here so I can just pull around, drink out of it. If you've seen that video, if that video goes up um, of how I put my, how I pack my bike. But yeah, I'm ready to go. I hit the road, I'm, 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 I'm ready. The LS2 Avent 10 modular. This thing's nice because it doesn't just fold up, it actually locks back so you can ride with it uh, up to a certain speed, which is pretty snazzy. Ugh. So, we're gonna head up on the road and I'm gonna start my bike. It's got four carburetors that need to warm up, so I'm gonna let it idle in the driveway for a few minutes. Probably shouldn't have put all this on now, but it is what it is. It's gonna keep me going, keep me going, keep me going. See y'all on the road. Wish me luck. Oh, I should probably charge this too. God, this got like 10%. So, we're going through the uh, south suburbs of Chicago right now. I forgot that my grandparents are on my way down. So, we're going to go see how to my grandparents real quick. Um, we're going to see how that goes. Um, I'm about an hour and 15 minutes in. Uh, about... How's it going? Uh, we took about a 20 minute break there. I uh, got some water on my face. Just said hi to the family, really. Um, I didn't realize I was gonna be passing them, you know, like literally passing their town. So uh, I stopped by, said hi. ETA is now 12.24 in the morning. It is currently 7.20 p.m. I got four hours on the dot to go. Uh, I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty excited. But yeah, uh, bike's doing okay. That's the most we can pray and wish for. Um, I'm gonna get back on the highway in just a little bit. There's still, we're still sneaking around traffic right now, so um, I'm gonna be on the side roads for probably about another 30 minutes or so. But going 40 and not having as many cars in front of you is way better than going zero and feathering that clutch, right? So um, the hardest part is just getting out of my city, and once I do, it is open road, open cruising. I'm very excited. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys when I start getting a little closer. Plus, you know, the music's going crazy too, so that always helps. We're back on the highway. 210 miles to go, so you'll definitely see me in my first fill up. But the sun's starting to set. So, 
make up on, so we're gonna get to this fast and go through with it, so yeah, we'll see you then. So our second stop here. And look at the sunset. Look at that. We're at Waco Beach in campground right now. I just figured I'd stop in town. There's some food I'm gonna grab right down the street here, but yeah, Waco Campground, guys. Look at that. What a perfect place to stop. Just take a break. Plus, I gotta dug my backpack off and stuff. I probably look ridiculous walking around here, but yeah, we did it. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. And the bike's holding up pretty well. We're a little bit over halfway there. So, figured I'd reward myself with some food. Actually, I also need to help my back. My back is just killing me. But we did it. Look at that. We made it to our restaurant for the night. Texas Corral. I don't even actually know if they're open, but we're going to go try and see what happens. Um, forget what I said before about eating at... Texas Corral. Um, we're gonna be eating at one of the finest dining establishments America has to offer. Meyer. <laughs> we're at Meyer. Well, we don't really have a choice because my bladder uh, has about half a percent of battery left, and I need to eat something. And I, man, I just can't get myself to eat Burger King. So we're gonna go to Meyer. We're gonna grab fruit or yogurt or something, I don't know. Then we're gonna finish the trip off. Energy, very high, back in a lot of pain. So, um, at least I know mentally I'm doing all right, but yeah, this back's getting pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So, let me head in, let me use the bathroom. I spilled a whole bunch of that water on my butt, so now my butt's all wet. I don't know if you need to know that, but I'll let you know what I get. Got a little uh, strawberry yogurt parfait. It's my dinner for the night. We're gonna go get gas over at that Meyer. 187 miles to go, so we're almost there. So close. Kind of. Alright, 145 miles. We got 187 to go. ETA 121. I don't even think I'm going to make it there at this point in the morning. Maybe I'll make it there by the afternoon. I don't know. We'll see. We're almost there. So as you can see, I might have gotten a little bit distracted. But, um, no. it is what it is. We're going to the casino, boys. I guess I'll let you guys see what I won. It's a quick way to spend 20 bucks, I'll tell you that much. Look at that. So we're not even three minutes from the gas station and uh, the bike uh, decides it wants to not run anymore. I just stopped getting power to it. And this has happened to the bike twice already. Uh, I took it to the shop, they checked it out, thought it was fine. Um, I think it's something to do with the fuel lines. I'm not 100% sure. I am at 160 miles on the tank. 40 miles per gallon, four gallons. It's a six gallon tank, so I should still have some gas left over, but um, she died on me. She died on me. But she's back. I think, I hope. I hope she's back. She looks back to me. It's actually really funny how her front hazards uh, don't even flash properly. I got the choke open on it just to get some, uh, get some air back in there. Maybe that helps clear out the fuel. Doesn't smell particularly off, but uh, we are three minutes from the gas station. Yo, we made it. Look at her. She got all her headlights on. We're here at the Comfort Inn and Suites in a town 15 minutes south of uh, Flint. We're in Fl Flansing, Fletchling, Fl Flansing. Actually, I don't know where we are. Let me check my phone. Fenton, Fenton, Illinois. Wait, no, Fenton, Michigan. Oh my God. 
but I was I heard something coming from my trunk. I was really confused. I was like, okay, first of all, I know I look like a mess, but um, I saw, I heard something coming out of my trunk. I was like, what the hell is that? So I don't know. Oh, what the hell? The hell are two chicken quesadillas doing in my trunk? So about waking up at six in the morning, getting back in the room. It's 10. Oh, and my dad's too late for breakfast. That sucks. But we're gonna get on the road. Our ETA is already around 4 p.m. So we're gonna have to get into the, get in and go. So I'm gonna shower and we're gonna leave. We've successfully repacked here. So I've got my jeans, a new shirt, a new tighties, and then ugh, I think I'm all packed. I think I'm good. I'm wearing yesterday's outfit, which is probably looks a little silly. Gloves in here, jacket in here, back plate in here, um, just in case. Um, I think today I'm gonna start with just the jacket not the pants just so i could be a little more comfortable um but i will be wearing it i promise so let me get this all locked up beautiful morning here about 67 68 we're here she's starting to get buggy so i'm definitely gonna need to uh give her a wash when i get out there but yeah we're all set and i got the pits on I'm paying seven dollars a month for these because I've never done a monthly payment. So, yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's what my mom told me too. I'm stupid. I know. But we here. Did my mom ride a motorcycle up here? I don't think so. So we we here. First stop of the day, TJ Maxx, because I'm gonna clean the bike up a little bit. Got some microfibs. I just don't want to see all these bugs. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So we're gonna clean this up. Uh, I would never in my life ever recommend doing this, but I'm doing it just for the windshield. I promise. I made it back to the hotel. Um, I officially look ridiculous, but hopefully it helps. I'm already feeling the pain coming back, so it's going to be a long one. I feel a little nauseous because of the pain, but we'll push through it. We're uh, over halfway there, so let's go take care of business. Let's go take care of business. Oh, okay, maybe not that angle. <laughs> All right, first pit stop. Culver's. Ate our Culver's. We're good. Um, we've got about four and a half hours until we get there. Two to get to Huron, so I'll let you know how Huron goes. And I'll see you guys in just a bit. The hair is curling today. Look at me. Let's go. Viper. We're in a new city. We're in Flint. We're in Flint, Michigan. I've never been to Flint before, so it's cool to check it out. So we're gonna go drive through here, I think. Well, Flint, kind of like the super downtown areas, like over there. I don't think we're gonna be all the way over there. I think this is gonna be my experience of Flint, what I can see here, which is uh, road closure, fence, construction, and uh, a lot of new age buildings with no issues at all. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. So we made it to Flint. Um, we're gonna go head back on our trip. We're gonna get gas down here and then we're gonna head up uh, to Port Huron. So yeah, let's get to Port Huron. What's up guys? Slightly disheveled Santiago here. Um, we are four, four hours away. We are taking our gas, our last gas trip fill up and bathroom break before we cross the border. Um, border traffic looks actually nuts right now so 45 minutes it was at an hour it says 45 minutes of pure red and uh if i know anything from chicago uh that's not very fun so we're just gonna deal with it there's copyright music playing in the background so we're gonna end this now but um we're gonna get there soon and i'm very excited let's do Traffic. We're almost, we're almost at the toll. 
three dollars. This appeared out of nowhere, so at least I got cash. We're so close. We are so close to not even getting there. We're getting. We're technically on the bridge now, though, so that's pretty interesting. Endless traffic. We've made it. We've made it to customs. There we are. It's just right there. Three hours, twelve minutes. So yeah, we're pushing through customs now. We're getting pretty close, so hopefully that means we can go home soon. There is. Yeah. I'm, I'm very tired. Look at the sweat on my face from doing all that. We are officially in Canada. Uh, very hot. I pulled over for like five minutes at the Best Western plus Goodwood Inn, whatever it is. Um, hour and 13 minutes, I'm gonna meet my dad for lunch in London. Uh, I pulled over, he just kept going. So we're gonna meet in London for lunch and then take the two hours to get back to uh, whatever it's called. So we're very hot. As you guys can see, 102 kilometers, about 60 miles. So we'll see you when we get there. so infantile and silly like in the same way that uh, when you ask a kid what they want to be when they grow up they say i don't know a dinosaur <laughs> 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 um yeah right um, we finally made it. We finally made it. It's been a long, long, adventurous journey. As you guys can see here, she got hit. Very sad. Um, a senior citizen decided um, as soon, the, the millisecond the light turned yellow when we could have made it through or we could have whatever. She was 50 feet from the white line and the light turns yellow and she slams on her brakes. She's all the way in the intersection. I couldn't dodge it in time, unfortunately, so it happens, but we're finally here, 655 miles or so, two days, we made it to Niagara Falls, and now it's time to uh, enjoy, bask in the glory. Me and Kali made it, first half of the road trip done, but more like first third, because it's going to take her 350 miles just to get home, but yeah, look at her, we did it, we did it, peeps. Stepping into the room here, we've got a room. I guess I'm sleeping on the floor, but look at this. Uh. Oh my God. You can't even make this up, dude. 30th floor, falls view. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is what, this is what dreams are made of right here. All the crap that I went through to get here. Woo! If you can barely see me, that's fine, because you're not here to see me. You're here.
here to see this. Look at that. The view in the falls. Happy 4th of July, y'all. So, good morning, y'all. It is around 11 a.m. No, 10 a.m. Well, oh, it is around 11 a.m. Day two. Um, we just walked uh, about a mile to get down to the falls. Um, I just took the rest of the night to sleep. Slept for a while, woke up, did some of my homework because I'm on my last week of classes. And now we're here at the falls. I'm very excited. It's going to be more of a vlog today, I guess. I'm not going to be doing much riding, but yeah, we've made it to the falls. I'm super happy to see it. And uh, you guys want to see? There's the American side. There's the Canadian side over there. We finally made it. We did the thing. We did what we meant to do. And this looks insane, by the way. I mean, in person, it's just unbelievable. So we just decided we're gonna we're gonna head into Toronto uh, later today. But for now, we just wanted to uh, see what it looked like, you know, inside the actual falls. So yeah, there it is. Wonders of the world right here. I can't believe we actually made it after everything we went through. And it only took one engine going bad, one battery dying, and one minor car accident to get here. Now that I say it out loud, but well, we made it. We did it regardless. I'm very proud of us. I'm going to take enjoy some time with my dad, and we're going to get on the road to Toronto in a little bit. We just made it. We drove in instead of I splitting cars. We just took one. We ended up uh, driving into Toronto, downtown Toronto. Anyone want to know why I think it's actually downtown Toronto? Because of that. Look at that thing. Holy cow. So there's the Intercontinental over there. We got some high rises. Uh, water's about a third of a mile that way. But yeah, we've got all this stuff here. It all looks pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. So. So far, as for smell, we are miles ahead of, um, we're miles ahead of New York or Manhattan, anything like that. I'm having a good time so far. Traffic kind of stinks, but it's a city. What can you do? Uh, we're gonna go do some shopping, walk around, see what's in the area, and keep you updated. So we just got back from the Toronto, dropped that off at the hotel, getting some dinner. I'm high. One last fireworks show. Then it's off to bed. Good night, family. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, y'all. We're doing it. You ready? Look at the hair. I gotta put on my my helmet guard and stuff, but she's warm. She's primed. She's ready to go. Sun rose. Time to Pittsburgh, four hours. Let's do it, baby. Made it to the most dangerous place on the earth. A duty free shop. Look at all this stuff. Try to think of what I'm bringing back. Got three hours, 44 minutes to go. We're at the border crossing. Look at that. So, little update. Um, uh, we got gas, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we're taking a highway, right? We're taking 90 all the way to 74 down south to Pittsburgh. And it tells me to take off on uh, the highway here. So we took off on the highway uh, around 20 now. Um, we're going to coast at around 20 for about 15 minutes before we get back on. I was wondering if it was going to give me like a scenic route or something. I actually like a bunch of shit, ready? Some New 
George Judy's before crossing into Pennsylvania. So hopefully this is the route that it wants me to go on to show me the beauties. So let's get on and uh, get moving. So she's on death number two right now. Um, she died again. Good poor girl. We're about 56 miles from Pittsburgh. We're gonna stop in Zelianople Zell for gas. Um, she's out of it. No, she's not out of gas. She's at 180 miles, so. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to let her sit for a second. Let her cool down. Hopefully she's not too hot. We could see from the accident where that piece of plastic got pushed in. We're gonna have to fix that at some point. Hopefully it's gonna get back, but yeah. Yeah, she's a little sad. So Oh wait, we're getting help. Oh, we're getting help. Let's go. This nice guy decided to stop and help me. But she's alive! She's fine! From the smell of it, she's getting a little hot. <laughs> she's getting kind of toasty, so we're just gonna let her uh, warm up and we should be back on our way. We made it to the gas station. We filled up. 3.45 a gallon, woo! We're about 48 minutes, but that's to the southern area of Pittsburgh. I put on the map, so I'm just gonna try to find a restaurant to eat at. I'm pretty sure I'm only gonna be about 30 minutes away, so let me get on the road. Let's get there, let's get there, let's get moving. It's already. 10:40. We gotta be in Columbus uh, today, so let's make it happen. Back 
look at the concrete jungles of America. Oh, that's a sharp turn. Uh, okay, let me let me get back in the bus. Here we are, stopped in Pittsburgh. We're downtown. I swear to God, there's a furry convention going on, which is kind of kind of rad, but. Yeah, we're in Philly, baby. We in Philly, baby. Okay, we go get some food and get right back on the road. I hope I can park here. I, I don't see why not. I'll pay for parking too. I'll be generous to the city of Philly. Th you're welcome, Philly. So we made it. Stopped in Columbus. We're at like the craziest. Can I even show you? We're at the crazy. I'll show you. We're at the craziest looking hotel ever. And I'm very excited about it. I just checked in. There's no cool place for me to park my bike. I gotta go in the garage. So I'm just gonna park in the garage. So I'll see you in a second. Good morning, America. It is the last day of the trip, baby. Last day. I'm sad, but I'm exhausted. Very exhausted. I didn't do anything here in Columbus. I just slept. Sick, tired, slept, showered, tired, showered, tired, showered, tired, showered, tired. tired, tired. Check out this view. That's Colombo, baby. Well, not downtown Colombo, but we're at like this cool like outdoor, like mall shopping complex that's kind of built to look like a town. It's not gonna open till like 11 and it's seven right now. So not gonna really be able to go, but um, let's get packed, let's get on the road. Cause uh, your boy doesn't know how to treat hotels properly. But obviously, I'm going to pack up all my stuff. I'm going to fold everything. I'm going to pretty it up a little bit. But I just don't know how to how to be in a hotel without making it look like a hotel. Right? Let's get packed. Let's get ready. Uh, I don't think it's going to be much of like a recording day. Just because I'm driving out of Colombo. doesn't seem like a very fun route. Colombo, Chicago. So, like not like interesting at least. So... We'll see, I've never done it before. Let's get on the road. Got some breakfast, a little water, egg and muffin, filled up with gas. Um, we got three hours and 42 minutes to go. I've already made a pretty good stretch of, stretch of time. I wish I had a little bicycle or something. Um, pretty good stretch of time. <clears throat> we're avoiding the traffic or uh, road closures, I guess. So we're going to be heading up through Lima and through Fort Wayne, which is cool. I've never been to Fort Wayne before either, so I'll kind of like circle through that, see what it's like. And we'll be on our way home. Pretty excited. We're back to the Midwest. Uh, three hours, 22 minutes. Uh, we're going to take a different road to the highway. just want to show you guys some of the Ohio Midwest love. There's a church up here. I know it's a little late, but we made it home from the trip, baby. Safe, sound, two dead engines. Well, two times the engine died, one dead battery. Sorry, my bad. One dead battery and one minor accident, but we made it home. Y'all wanna see the mileage? Let's go take a look at the mileage. Look at that. I don't even know what we started with, but we'll find out. Um, tomorrow because nothing is getting unpacked nothing's getting put away uh, it's m almost midnight I know 
I know it was daylight last time you saw me, but it's almost midnight now, which means uh, Santiago needs, ow, Santiago needs his rest. Uh, I was toying with a Hayabusa on the way home. Busa, you know, second gen Busa is like my dream bike. Well, yeah, pretty much, one of them. One of the dream bikes. Um, and there was a second gen on the highway doing like 110. And I was like, I waved at him. I don't think he liked that because he started going a lot faster. But who am I to say? Anyway, I really go, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful road trip um, to. Look at her. Look at her. She's so pretty. If you guys enjoyed, I know I'm trying to be like. I'm taking weird ass videos because um, I'm at my house and I don't want you guys to see my house. But I do appreciate you guys uh, being here. If you guys made it this far, please let me know what the hell I could have done differently because I know there's a lot more I could have done. But as far as like, you know, what I was showing, what I wasn't showing, it's, it's hard because I couldn't show any time lapses because I don't have a mount for it. Um, I don't have a 360 camera, so I don't have always on recording. Um, I don't have a mic, so the void, the audio is kind of bad, um, socially awkward, all that fun stuff. Please let me know. Please, 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 please. I want to make another trip this year uh, in the fall, maybe to Myrtle Beach, I'm hoping. There's a spider web that made it all the way home on the headlight. Um, I want to make it to Myrtle Beach this year as well, so if you guys want to see that, let me know. If not, Santiago Pearl Woods Trail. Call me what you want to call me. We made it home safe and sound. Bye-bye.